This is a review for the Fire Maple Blade 2. This is a remote canister stove. A remote canister stove has a tube that feeds the fuel to the stove. Has quite a few advantages to a canister stove that sits directly on the canister. Uh, first, the stove itself, the flame, is going to be separate from the fuel, which is a safety uh, advantage. Uh, for wind purposes, you can fully use a wind guard around the entire stove, whereas with a canister stove, you really can't do that safely. This is also designed for uh, much colder operation. It has a preheat coil here on the body of the stove. That preheat coil basically vaporizes the gas and it's gonna allow it to burn more efficiently, uh, not sputter, and basically operate in colder temperatures. This also allows for inverted canister use, uh, which allows you to draw liquefied fuel as opposed to gas fuel from the canister. Again, allows for use in much colder temperatures. This is a titanium alloy. Uh, it only breaks down, uh, it only weighs 134 grams, which uh, is 4.7 ounces and uh, will fit once broken down really into any pot. Uh, comes with a nice little padded carry case um, that it doesn't snag inside of and uh, just puts everything in a nice small package. One of the things that's great about this is you get a very wide base. So everything from an eight inch pan um, to a tiny little pot such as this will fit on it. Uh, you can even put a full-size per percolator, even though I doubt many people would use one in the backcountry, you have that option. This is the Fire Maple um, Island Steam Kit, which I actually purchased at the same time to use these together. Uh, the heat exchanger on the bottom of it really fits nicely on this stove. Um, I actually uh, use this stove to test out the steam feature, and uh, it's really cool. I'm going to review this uh, product, the Island Steam Kit, separately. So if you're interested, have a look at that. Uh, the stove itself does not have a piezo igniter built in, which I consider to be a positive. Those built-in igniters will almost always fail over time, and they also tend to make you manipulate the stove too much when you're lighting it. So this stove, you can really finely attenuate, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and light it up. I don't know if you can, uh, if you can see the flame on here on the video real well, but you get a beautiful flame, a lot of blue flame. And what's really great about it is it really attenuates down low. Uh, I was able to steam uh, four ounces in this unit uh, for 13 minutes and didn't lose hardly any of the water. Um, so it works really well. You can really simmer in the pot as well if you weren't doing steaming. Um, a lot of uh, people want to be able to simmer in the pot, and this stove is, is up to the task. So it's a really nice unit, and I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it's going to be great in the backcountry for me.